Hi Felters and welcome, how are you? Today is a really special day. I have been allowed access into World of Wool. I'm really excited to be able to take you in there, show you around and let you see how much wool they actually have in there. Let's go into the magical cave. So World of Wool is based in Huddersfield. They have very specific opening times, so do check before you go and they're part of Europa Wools. Um, they have all sorts of felting, spinning, knitting, crocheting, weaving, dyeing and more. So it's not just needle felting, but for us there, there's absolutely tons of stuff. So here we go. Going into the shop, first off you come across all the wools and the botany uh, bin, which we'll talk about in a minute. So multicoloured wools, sparkly wools, see the sparkle in that. These are the wools I used for my little highland cows. They are tweed distillery ones, I think they're called, or distilled. Really nice. And they tell you exactly what to do when you go in there because it's kind of just a massive um, warehouse, basically. So this is the botany bin. Just to show you, this is where end of line samples go, um, things that they can't um, sell. And it's just really good because it's a fantastic price and you can just delve through and grab yourself a bargain. So definitely have a look at that if you go in there. This is the sales desk that you'll come to afterwards. So when you go in and round, you get a trolley with scales, you get bags and a pen. And they will tell you everything what to do, but you write down the code and weigh the wool as you get it out of the bins. And you just take your trolley round. So these are the top tips. And they tell you how to find the prices as well because it's not priced up. So here we go, walking a little bit further in. Upstairs is just for staff and they do packing just at the side there. So there's a lot of staff around and this is give you a rough idea just walking through it about how many aisles there are. And it's even, this is on the other side of it. There's an upstairs uh, where staff are in the offices, but even showing you that it's hard to explain it all. So they do quite a few tools. That's a nice big uh, sort of carder board and they do a lot of wet felting tools as well they do some wool hanging hand woven kits i think they're fairly new drop spindle kits um, another hand woven kit really nice colors but this is what we love these are their needle felted kits all written by cindy lou thompson from chicken creations and guess what they're all made up slow down pippa we need to see them in more detail here we go so I'm just going to sort of pan through. There's Romeo Rabbit. I've done him before. Now, bear in mind, these guys have been here for a while and they've been picked up and moved about by a lot of people, but they're still looking really good. The elephant looks nice back there. The panda looks super cute. I'm going to try the Highland Cow at some point. Um, there's Sheldon Sheep. I think he was. I've done Sheldon Sheep. Obviously, Cindy's really excellent at her dogs. They're absolutely amazing. The frog's quite popular. See the legs on the um, pig at the back? I think he'd be worth giving a go. Then we've got chicken. We've got husky, deer, lion. That's a cat lying down at the front. The lion looks really good. I really like the mane there. Um, Alsatian. That is a crocodile. He's facing the wrong way. And this was one of her latest, the uh, collie dog. And then there's the donkey on the end so it's just so lovely to see the kits all made up now I think international customers get them in tubes now because it's easier for postage but normally they come in these boxes and you get all the instructions you need with it so I've reviewed a few of their kits I really like these carders they have quite a bit I think they're about 50 pounds but they look a lot uh, bigger than because I just use dog carders they do four needle needle holders so that's really useful and they do a one needle needle holder um, and this is for the wet felting and then that's a spindle they've got massive uh, needles there that's the soap for wet felting there's some wire needles so they've got their own needles they also have um, a needle uh, code so that's really good to keep I've never used their needles more knitting needles and then another large pair of knitting needles down there can you imagine what you could do with that so next up, we go to their selections. Now they've got selection bags of wool, which are slightly better value. And they call it a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I really like that name. But they have got an awful lot of range of colours. And in a minute, I'm going to start sort of showing you the names. But look, that's all sparkly and glittery. So whatever you're thinking of making, you could, you know, have a look through. They've got much, many more um, bags than you think they have. Put it that way. 
that's a lovely range of colours, especially for animals. It's called Woodland Creatures. It's just perfect to get you started. The Earth Collection. What's this one? Muted Tones. So all quite soft. And then the blues. I really like the blues. This is, this is Marine Tones. And then they've got another one, which I really like. That's the Campfire Collection. Great names. I have to say, we've got some funnier names further on. The Botanical Collection. I like that one as well. That's really useful. Was that Woodland Collection? So you can see there's excellent themes there of things that you might want. Uh, oh, one more. Have a look at one more. What's this This one called? Tawny Tones. So again, great for animals. This is the Discovery Pack with eight different types of breeds. So you can see the difference between the wolves. And then they have lots of felt and pre-felt. Um, they store all the felt upstairs, which I'll show you in a bit. So if you do sort of 2D stuff, that's great. And they've got books. And then they've got dyes as well. So because they cover everything, you know, you could might want to dye your own wool. I haven't, you know, tried that at all, but it's something I might do in the future. And then these are just a lovely range of lanonin, shampoos, soaps, hand cream. So first, first aisle, <laughs> it's merino. So this is merino tops and everything's got a code on it. And that's the code you would write on your bag when you wear it out but look how lovely the wool is it's just absolutely tons of wool um these are some lovely colors this side with the merinos is all the sort of softer colors the browns that's the one i use an awful lot for my cows um that's another one that's possible for highland cows marine amber mustard and then you go to the next row along and it's all the sort of brighter colors for the merinos now, sort of further, if I stopped and went through every single one, this would be the longest video ever. But I do go through quite a lot of the blends. That's pewter, mink, that's a lovely soft sort of silver. And then these are all the brighter ones. Again, we're still merinos at the moment. So very soft wool. It will tell you the microns on the labels. Look at that. Hot pink, that was. Pumpkin. I've used the pumpkin one. I'll show you that later. Mediterranean and then turquoise. So that's one, two, three rows. Next one along, I think this is the super fine merinos. So I think this is even, it will be even softer basically and the microns will be even lower. The lower the micron, the sort of the fluffier and softer the wool is. And again, you've got a whole range of, look at this color. I, this is light, lichen or lichen, I think that's how you say it. Um, really nice, I could have done with that recently. Uh, this is a black, so this is Raven, Merino Raven. So if you want a really good black sort of mane and tail for a horse, that's it. Then we are moving on to, this is still the Super Washes. Uh, sorry, Super Fine Merino uh, in some different colours. And then round to the other side and we've got Corridale. So this is Corridale Tops, again in a huge range of colours. Clementine, it definitely is a Clementine colour. The names really match them well. So this is all down another huge aisle. Now this is some of the blends. So uh, Bliss, Typhoon. Um, I use a lot of the blends for my Highland cows just to make them a bit fun. Whisper, Harmony, really nice greens there on that one. Lovely Blues, Tranquil, great name for it. And then Calm, Blaze, Love Blaze, Riddle. Now these ones kind of have like some neps in them or something. They look really good. So you've got Fable, Myth, Riddle, Charm, and what's the last one? Lullaby. Then we go further on. So these are the Bio Nylon range. So it's the new range that's come in. It's biodegradable, but obviously it's um, vegan or if you're allergic to wool. So it's really, really good if that's the lines you want to go down and so this is fairly new this lot and they've got them in so many colors absolutely you know you will be able to make what you want to make so definitely worth having a look at look how vibrant those colors are and there's some unusual ones camel bleached tuss tusser silk top these are really fluffy these ones i've used that one before brown alpaca very very soft and fly away uh white faced lester long wool Again, really nice. This is a soya bean, so that's vegan. We've got some more vegans around the other side in a bit. That's a flax linen. That's an, another vegan one. Um, lovely greys in that brown alpaca camel. They've also got some star sign blends, so Aquarius, Libra, things like that. I didn't go through all of those. 
and then some planet names. So Orion, Phoenix, um, Bumblebee. Look at the colours in that one. Very unusual. And then Lynx, I use that an awful lot for my Highland cows, but it is quite fly away. So if you're not good with the tops that get matted easily, that's where you're going to look at the micron um, sizes. This is a, look how it's got a slight shine in it. White Shetland bleach tusser silk, so it's got the silk going through it. Bonnie Bee, beautiful reds. Duck or Daisy, I've used that quite a lot before. It's a, it's a bit pinker than it is actually, I think. Twinkle Twinkle, this one. Definitely use that one before, nice purples in it. Uh, Mars. Now, these ones, they do say they're tops. They feel a bit more carded and they're multicoloured, so very unusual sort of effect, and they've named them after planets. So Mercury. Oh, no, and that's finished. Now, these are really lovely. Glitzy Raven. Glitzy Amber, so you could have a sparkly Highland cow there. Glitzy Aubergine. You can see the purples coming through. Um glitzy mallard some of these are the ones i used for the pumpkins recently this is glitzy moss glitzy moss a really beautiful color and this is glitzy ocean and this one is a nice light colored one but with some sort of colors in it and what's this one once upon a time oh yeah worth melting for another beautiful name over the rainbow Beautiful colours there again. Happily ever after. <laughs> you could just go on and on. So this is a silver, this is a gold. So if you just want a basic silver or a basic gold, it calls me even better. <laughs> I like that one. That's where we all feel about felting. This one's got the violet colour in it. So it's white but violet. So it's nice. It's glitter white violet. These ones... Uh, a sort of a tweed mix these are really really nice I like the feel of these a lot um, it's probably about six or seven lovely purple lovely blues but let's just show you there's a jam pot red and the one I'm gonna have to buy and order at some point crumpet <laughs> just love that name I don't know what I'll do with it but that's just the best so it's crumpet tweed top that range is really nice. It feels a bit more carded. It's not, but um, it's lovely. And then these are the humbugs. So they've got a humbug merino. Um, look at the striking colours on them. Humbug corridale. And then this one I use quite a bit. Humbug finish. So that finish that's the name of the breed. Gin and tonic. Couldn't quite reach that one for you. Peacock. I've used this an awful lot in cows ice and fire my most popular one it's the one i use in my kit so that's definitely a good one sprinkly winkly <laughs> they did have fun with these names there's a couple more to go um bubblegum surprise absolutely spot on limited edition flame so they won't be around for long limited edition a yorkshire welcome by scotty and Barkini Bottoms. I think this tops it as the best one. So that's sort of all the sparkly numbers. Now we go on to the carded slithers. So you pull off how much you want, basically, from the tops and the slithers and put them in your bag. So they've got a beautiful range of carded corridor slithers, absolutely tons of colours. Eggshell uses use that all the time for sort of faces on people or fairies. And so you'll pull out the slithers, break it off and pop it in your bag, put the code on and then weigh it. But um, on the other side opposite to them, you get bats. There's 200 grams in each um, bat and it's slightly better value, but there's obviously less range of colours, but there's still quite a few. Let's just test them. 200 grams. What are we at? 215. Thank you, World of War. That's very kind of you. I know the bag's about three grams, but that's really good. This is a merino. You can get a carded merino bat there. Then we've got quite a few of the natural different breeds. So that was a Norwegian bat, Shetland bat. I've done a video ordering all the natural um, breeds and seeing which was the whitest. This is a Shetland bat natural grey. So if you were doing some sort of grey animal, superb. There's a couple more of the natural bats. And then that's a black. Uh, it's I think it's raven. Carded Corridor Raven. Then we go on to the animals. So if you're not sure, you're like, what colour do I order? 
If you wanted to do a rabbit, they've got a rabbit colour. If you want to do a mouse, they've got a mouse colour. So it's all sort of done for you. There's a nice mix to them. So there's a bear, badger, deer. The deer really is good colour. Fruit salad, just want to show you this. It's got some different greens in it. That is a lovely green again. You know, and as they're carded, they're so easy to work with. Lemon and lime, beautiful colours. Bilberry pie, cosmos. So you can get any colour you want in the slithers as well. Very useful. And then next to them, we've got some wool locks. So they've got some dyed wool locks. But it's not tons of locks on there. It takes a while to sort of sift through. But they do do them in a variety of colours. The brown looked quite good. Looked like there's quite a few locks you could cut off. So it's useful to know that they do them because I don't think people realise that they do these. I used those for the pumpkins. And I'll show you those at the end. Um, but yeah, quite a few colours there. And then you get the neps, which are on the other side. Um, great for 2D felting. You can use them for 3D. Slightly harder to sort of incorporate but if you put a thin layer of wool over the top and then felt that in that's how you sort of keep neps in top of mushrooms you know getting the dots on them just adding a bit of feature but great for 2d felting so there you go neps in all sorts of colors as well so quite a few things already but we haven't covered all of it this is going to the other side um some unusual ones we've got alpaca I can't read what that one is. Alpaca again. This one is an Angora top. So I think it's a goat Angora. I'm not sure. D-head llama top. These, these two in particular are really like hair. Beautiful. Recycled plastic. So onto some of the vegan ones again. Plastic fibres, bamboo. Um, these are the old nylon ones, I think, which have been replaced. Fake mohair top. And then onto the silks. So again, I kind of must be used for spinning and 2D felts. I'm not sure, but there's lots and lots of silks. They're very unusual to look at. I don't know how much I would use them in uh, 3D felting. And then dyed bamboo, a lot of colours. So bamboo is obviously um, vegan as well. So there's a lot of colours there for you too. And like I said, I can't go through everything. Now, these are the Scandinavian mountain, so stricken Scandinavian mountain wool, stricken lonk. So these are some of the breeds. Then we were back to a little, a few more silks. So this is a mulberry silk. Again, lots of colours, very shiny. Organic. I didn't know you could do organic ones. Now, these are the breeds. So you've got Marsham top. It's lovely to just um, go through all the different breed ones. Cheviot top. These are all the names of different types of sheep. Um... What have we got? Jacob, Lincoln Top, South Down, and then you, uh, Charolais. You can sort of feel the difference between them. Some are softer, some are fluffier. Grey Gotland Top. It's amazing how many they've got, to be fair. Kent Romney. A grey, Blue Face Leicester Top. This oatmeal one is really nice. I, I've used that quite a bit. And then I've used this herdwick for an actual herdwick. I'll show you towards the end. It's a little bit, falls out. It's a little bit hard to work with, but it's very fluff, not fluffy, but it falls out a lot. And then a brown Manx low, Logaton top, so lovely. And then I popped upstairs. You're not supposed to go up there, but they weren't looking, so I <laughs> had a quick look. And they store some extra wool yarns up there. Then they store all of the felts. As we go along, you can see, um, sorry, the, the felt fabric and the pre-felt. So they put them up here because they cut them to size for people. It's easier if they do it. Um, and then they also store a couple of the slightly bigger, would you call them skeins? I don't know what you call them, because they can get in a tangle. And also the Angelina fibre, because the Angelina fibre can go everywhere. Now note, there is a heat bondable Angelina fibre and a non-heat bondable. So if you just want to add it, to your felting you have the non-heat if you want to make wings or things like that and you're going to iron it you want the heat bondable that happens a lot people always make mistakes with ordering these but loads of colors this one i used for the wings in my fairies i think and then they also have them in bags downstairs for you to just pick up because they don't like the public getting into the angelina fibers they literally go everywhere there we are so it was a quick whiz round. These are the boxes that uh, 
we all want to receive. Someone, I think it's probably trade, is receiving a massive order. How nice would that be? I love it when these boxes arrive. So here we go. Here's some of the things I've made. The Herdwick, the cows. I use the yarn wool. This is the actual pumpkin colour that I told you about. This is some of the natural tops. Then my Highland cows. I do them in a huge range of um, merino wools. And some of the sparkle and glitter on the pumpkins. This dog had a lot of colours in it actually. And I use a lot of the carded for my horses. There we go quick look through so I'm back I'm tired I really want a cup of tea it's about nine o'clock I ended up being in there for over an hour had a great time I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some benefit from it and you can realize exactly how much um, wool there is in there there's absolutely tons if you ever get the opportunity to go do save up your money save up your pennies you'll really enjoy it but thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again soon take care